Right, um, we're back on band 20 looking for mobile phones and there's one there, <laughs> funny enough. Uh, not quite sure where that's come from. What I've done is asked my neighbour to stand in a certain position with um, her iPhone 5 and it's obviously doing lots of work. Um, what we were hoping to do was to demonstrate it uh, downloading a video off YouTube but it's obviously reading some emails or something like that which is um, not supposed to be part of the test but there we go we've got a bit of a, a blank space now so I'm going to ask my neighbour now to watch a video can you watch a video please so she's just started watching a video then and it's obviously downloading data what are you watching? How to solder. Fantastic. That's pretty useful. Right, so there's our um, 4G. Are you on 4G? Yeah. Right, she's on 4G. There's our 4G connection and it's on somewhere between um, 835, 837, what's that? That's. Um, oh, it stopped, but that's okay, yes. Yeah, 836. 0.7 megahertz, and the other one was um, 832.2 megahertz. So that's it, really. Um, I don't know why my previous tests um, weren't, weren't showing these these phones. Uh, I think it's something to do with the aerials being too close together, or f with metal objects, big metal objects being located in between them and possibly reflections, possibly um, actually being so close that it overpowered the receiving aerial. Uh, it's a bit of a mystery, but that's what radio frequency is all about. It is a bit of a mystery. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you! Is that it? That was it. Well, you want to do some more? No.